Hey, welcome to this video. In case you don't know, this guy next to me is the man himself, Mr. Terry Dempsey from Urban Bay, and he's literally just arrived without warning <laughs> at the shop at Cork Global. When Terry does this, there's always something interesting, something exciting or something new for you guys. I'm going to rope Terry in to do a few videos, show you some rigs, what he's been up to. But before we do that, Terry, how's, How are you everything, doing, everyone? how's everything going? Yeah, everything's good. I've come down here early this morning to see Dan. I ain't been down here for about, what, two years, two Dan? Two years, all this Something lockdown like and yep. all this business. Obviously, we've made it through. We've made it through, yes. We uh, certainly have. And it's a nice day in this spring now. And spring, things are up. spring has sprung and the fish are on the move we've yep. had this chat already you're actually going fishing i'm going fishing yep from here which is i'm in preston at the moment at dan's obviously i've got another person that i've got to go and see on the way back towards london but then i'm going to oxford i don't think he's trying to check his maps i'm going to fish lynn chill for me it's only <laughs> around the corner but danny's telling me it's a lot further well hopefully the traffic's all right and you do get through so we'll get through this stuff uh, straight away but Covid, lockdowns, prices, everything's going up. How's all this affecting fishing, Terry? How's, uh, yeah, just from your fishing perspective. Has, obviously, during lockdown, when it all opened again, it all went mad, didn't it? And we had a lot of new anglers come along who hadn't fished for years or, or just started. Uh, that's all sort of calmed down a lot now, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, of it, but the prices and uh, that we pay for everything in the bait has gone up. Um, and getting access to it as well has been harder. Yeah, there's some companies that are doing away with certain lines of bait because they can't get ingredients right. and things like yeah, that from, yeah. a, from a bait perspective. But I think fishing in general, when you turn up, is there still the same faces fishing the same swims? Yeah, or? still everyone's out there having a go, aren't they? Still it's the same there. old faces as we've always said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We turn and, up week in, week out. And I think there is a lot of new anglers, and we've got certainly got a lot of new anglers in our group of people who might not have sort of had, I don't know, the 20 yet, or yeah, they, they want to yeah. catch that 30 and they, and yeah, they can't get yeah. to that point i think all of this stuff that going on in the world is like something that can deter you from going fishing yeah. what, what, what would you say to yeah, these guys definitely i mean it, you're going to get deterred because there's a lot of things that can deter you but if that's the case and they want to do it then it's got to, you've got to have a drive you yeah. know drive is the key to catching a, a big fish you know whatever your target fish you you're after because sometimes they come along quick and other times you have to wait for them and when what they do say is they eventually they come along like buses yeah so without a doubt. you know it's getting to that point where you're gonna you're on a roll and you have a few so to get to that point you've got to put through the hard you've got to put in the hard work yeah and i think that's key and you can just you only have to read your book or see you on social media or some stuff that you've been doing clearly you put the miles in yeah. you put the time in, you put the work in the effort in exactly you know it's, it don't come straight away. I mean, some lakes that I've fished in the past, you know, I've, I've had the biggest fish or some of the best fish within a few nights. Um, that can happen, and it does happen a lot over yep. the years, and everyone has their day. But to get to constantly catch big fish each year, you know, you really do have to put the work in, the yep. hard work. And all these guys that you're, you're seeing catching these fish out there are out there a lot more. Um, it's not know, a magic wand, is no, it? Too? You're not, you're not no. waving a magic wand, but you can have some things that will stack the odds in your favour, right? Like totally. Good yeah. bait, good rigs, good bait, good rigs, and you know, right good, lo good the right venue, location, and then it comes down to who's keen. You know, who's going to be getting up, uh, who's going to be walking around the lake at first light, watching where they're feeding. You know, yeah. who's going to be walking around the lake in the evening? You know, watching where, where they are and sort of and getting up the trees and stuff. And then you'll start seeing the anglers who are putting in the more effort, yeah. you know, making more use of the good bait and good rigs. Because even with good bait and good rigs, if you're not in the right place, you're stuffed. Though. You're going to stuff. So you've got to put the effort in. But I've, it, for me, one of the best things about uh, carp fishing is that effort. Yeah. It's the chase. Oh, without you know, a doubt, without a doubt. It. And do you think we've developed a, a culture of sort of not a lazy angler, but a more bivy bound angler with the iPad and the, the social media and the, you know, people are looking on things and they've got all technology all around them, but yeah. they think that maybe that you're spending more time in one swim because you've carried all of this stuff. Stuff, yeah, Is, is yeah. this the approach, Terry? I think, or? We've, I think we've been, we've got spoilt now, haven't we? Yeah, we've got, really yeah, yeah. we got really comfortable beds. We've got, you know, we've got iPhones and, and we've got chargers and, you know, we've got spoilt with everything, all the, uh, the cooking, um, of stuff that you can buy for fishing and everything so that's going to slow down an angler a yep. lot it, where you'll get an and, and one of the one of the things that i like doing is still is day sessions where you've only got a small amount of kit and you can move around there's different ways to to catch carp but yeah you're right over the last few years we've got this more bivy bound sit there for a whole week you know got the kitchen sink 
angler which is great and a lot of people do like that and it will it will get you know latch you into a few fish but then there's other ways of angling that um, I like to do myself uh, which is you know fishing light moving mm. around doing short sessions and some folks might say that oh I can't I can't just I can't get onto the fish or I can't just get it right in my head unless I'm, I'm there for a few days yeah. you know what would you say it's to not, that it's not really like that is it I mean it don't take long to catch a carp you know if you're in the right time at the right place um, I think you can't re uh, judge your results on others. That's really important. Don't judge your results. Judge your own results on your own time and what you do yourself because mm -hmm. everyone is totally different. If someone's doing five days a week, their style of fishing can be completely different to someone who's doing half a day a week. Yeah. So to use the time that you got, if you fish the mornings, you go to the part of the lake where the fish are in the mornings. If you only fish during the darkness after work, go to the part of the lake that fishes at night because yep. you'll find that each the fish will move around at different times throughout a 24 hour clock so once you suss that out you can you can catch on short sessions yep. short sessions can be good because you you know you're not scaring the fish as well sometimes when you've been sitting there for three days you've got your lines in the water every carp in the lake knows you're there yeah so that, that can that. go against you so it's all about sort of stacking the odds in your favor and getting it out is. there yeah. walking that water making sure that you're sort of keeping your eye on what's going on and, and obviously putting yourself in that right position yes you know we, we, i think we could probably bring a hundred leading anglers from all over the country all over the world and they probably all say the same Similar. thing yeah definitely. and you read this stuff in the magazines and you only have to open you know flick a few pages in any magazine and you'll find somebody saying it's about the location it's about mm. the good bait and and mm. making sure that you're walking everything that you've just said mm. is being reiterated by mm. all of the leaders mm. in fishing mm. why are anglers still going out there and not doing this stuff to yeah i think that uh, one of the things that people like about carp fishing is getting away and Without it is the camping yeah you know it isn't just a bit i mean a, a good friend of mine he always says it's you know it's not called cool catching it's called cool fishing so you're yeah. actually fishing so the camping is a big part of it. Um, being by the lake is a big part yeah. of it. So I think that, that actually catching the carp for a lot of anglers is just a byproduct. Yeah, without so, a doubt. And then there's other anglers who, you know, are more sort of want the sport of catching the fish and they'll yeah. put more effort in. So, so it's for everyone's got their own. And this is why we say, you know, don't judge your catches on other people's catches because everyone's going for a different reason, aren't they? Without a doubt. And, and I guess there's nothing wrong with that unless you, you're going out there and not putting bait on. Yeah, which, which there right. was actually yeah, a guy yeah. who used to do that. Yeah, yeah he just yeah. wanted to get away so yeah, bad that he yeah. just go and cast, just cast a yeah, lead in and yeah. put him on his on his uh, rests, and yeah. that'd be the end of it. For what happens if you've got a liner? Do you need to strike? And anything's possible. Anything's <laughs> possible. <laughs> and you know, we have come across anglers, like you said, who do things for different reasons. But I think on the whole, most sports do want to bend in the rod. They do want to catch Definitely. a fish. They do want to achieve that yeah. goal. Yeah. If you could, if you could say to you know one thing to any up and coming angler that's you know going to keep them on track to achieve those goals and you've got like five seconds to do it what would that one thing be i know it's a difficult one but i would have patience in your methods don't ra rush and follow others have do what you think's right and stick with that and fish for yourself yeah it's, it's, it's very good advice because a lot of people they, they open the magazine they go on the social media the next thing they're on youtube then they, they're checking out what somebody else caught and oh that fish came out in, in peg six yeah. Exactly. All of that kind of it's too late. It's already yeah. happened. It's done. You've That's missed done. the bus. You know, you get an angler who catches fish, he'll have a certain method. It might mean the next angler who comes along, he'll catch fish for a totally different reason. So if you're always trying to follow the last person that's been in there, you're never going to create something new, are you? Well, that's the thing. And I guess being prepared to go off the beaten track, as it, as it were, not only in in the actual finding the swims yeah. and finding the fish, but also in your mind. Think over, outside the box. Yeah, yeah outside the to, box. Yeah. And that might sound to some folks like, oh, well, you know, that's Terry Dempsey and he's been doing this stuff for years and I might never mm. get to that mm. point, but you'll never get to that point yeah. if you don't start, right? That's right. You've got to have the experience and the only way you're going to get the experience is to do it. And that's and what... is to make the mistakes like we all did. We've all, we've all chose the wrong swim. We're all <laughs> going to choose the wrong swim again. And that's just the part of fishing but that's why we keep going back to it so goals wise we're talking a lot about achieving your goals and you've just made a point then terry your goal this time is to what to catch a fish to catch a fish it doesn't have to be complicated just get exactly. out there and catch just one right? my goal for this trip coming up is to catch a carp and if i see a carp in the bottom of the net 
I'll be more than happy. And we and we all you know we all you see multiple carp in the bottom of the net on, the, on more this session. Than one, that would be it, wouldn't it? Yeah, but if you don't catch, you you it's not the end of the world, is no, it? No, not at all. Then it's I'll, an experience. It's an experience, and you're learning for for the next time you go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what I learn this trip will stand me instead the next time I go. Yeah. And that could be one simple thing, couldn't it? You could you know you could just throw a lead in and bring some silt back from a a, yeah. a, a swim yeah. and think, oh man. You know, there's one little thing sometimes yeah. that just... Or you see St. Roll in the yeah. middle of the night. You get up in the middle of the night because you can't sleep and you see one roll down to the left no, yeah, where the you didn't expect. It, yeah. And we've all done it. And that's how, that's how you fish. Yeah. But that's how you learn and, and that's how you, you, you go forward, isn't it? Yeah, without a doubt. So there's hope for us all, I think, is the, is the message. Is. You know, the, the, the angling masses are out there. They're doing it. You've got to get out there, ain't you? And if you're not out there and you're not doing it... You're never going to learn, you, are you? you? You're not learning and you've no chance of catching a... Exactly. A, a big, a big old fish. You might as well paint exactly. one on your wall like this. So we're going to jump on some other stuff with Terry. Look at some rigs. Look at some bait. Talk about stuff from Urban. Top man, Dan. We'll do a few more videos. Look out for him. It's Danny on Terry. Good stuff. Cock global impressed. We'll see you on the next video. See you later.